can you hear can you hear me no yes yeah, so um yeah, of course big thing to 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 the team i, I understand that the situation changing so so quickly uh it's sad that we can be there but we managed to make it happen to thank to to you roland to dan uh, marco mr g we ted um ambrose um eden um Bella, uh, Sunshine, uh, uh, Isaac, uh, all the, the volunteers that have been helping us without you, of course, the, the event has not been possible. And I want to say that this is the, the, the first time that we have to deal with so many uh, challenges um, in the beginning, about half a, year, uh, half a year ago, when we started to prepare for the event, we got so many um, uh, people showed their interest that they're gonna come and we have up to almost 200 speakers confirmed. We have very, very good content this year. And the number go down and, and down until I think like two or three weeks ago, we still have 150 and it's just changing so quickly until today and uh, just the last day of the event we realized that none of the speaker of participants who've been traveled outside of Singapore can can come to, to the venue. But on the other side, we have been learning so much from this uh, event. So we learned how to make uh, the streaming. So previous year, we always have somebody who come and support us with the streaming. But this time, uh, the team managed to to take make everything possible ourselves. There are a lot of questions how to handle Q&A, um, how to manage um, with different partners and, and suppliers. Like, so, so I just feel that we have so much to learn after this uh, uh, this event. Yes, and um, so what we what gonna happen next? So I don't know when the situation will be resolved, but uh, since we see the last few days, people, people, everyone around the world still need to be able to to say connect and and to work together on solutions. So um, we brainstorming some idea. We already have a lot of feedback from uh, from you who are in the room, but also from the people online. We, we're hoping to organize some kind of online platform where people can come and share digital um, solution around the COVID-19. Uh, you know that there are people working from Italy, from Germany, how the situation in Vietnam, people develop solution locally. And it's um, not that, um, so on the news, so you, we basically see information about all the number of cases in Greece, this and this got, uh, got locked, but it's more important that we should highlight the development has been going on around the world. And we hope that uh, in a few weeks, we're gonna put up an online uh, platform, because we learned so much on an online event, but we focus on this topic for people from different nations to share their development around this. Yep. So, so the idea would be like, uh, I don't know if we can pull it off in three to four weeks. I mean, like uh, we're always making things very stressful for ourselves, right? But like, uh, uh, we can't really wait. Yeah, I mean, like the, the numbers of uh, people affected, they go up and it's not just people affected by the virus. It's like economically, it's uh, in, in many ways. And I just saw a projection that um, if we actually slow down the virus, it also means that uh, this crisis will go on much longer. So projection, projections right now are uh, at least until March next year. Um, so... Huh. That is a long time and uh, um, we really need to work together and find ways. So we had a few chats with uh, some speakers today as well. And the idea would be to um, uh, have like three different kinds of um, ways how people can collaborate. Of course, we can have um, talks where people can share their ideas. Uh, talks can be followed like uh, in a Jitsi session, like what we had today. Secondly, we could have uh, online workshops. Um, the, these workshops can also take longer and uh, we cannot have too many people in a live workshop on Jitsi, but we can actually also stream that live workshop and uh, share it with other people. So that's the second idea. The third one would be to create um, open collaboration um, channels um, in an event where people could work together, like uh, let's say in um, over a weekend or over three days. And uh, this can go on 24 hours because now the uh, entire world is affected. So um, people are very open uh, to this idea. And uh, yeah, we will share more about this. We will uh, discuss this with the team, but that's our idea for now. 
Um, and uh, I think that would be really a, a next step uh, forward, right? So we need everything to be absolutely open. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if Harish is still in the room. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. So, so maybe like uh, we can have a short uh, um, a circle around what, what is the feedback of people so far? What are our next steps uh, uh, in the community? Okay, opinions, please. How did you find this event? Right. Um, so that, that he can hear and then he can like pass it on to the second microphone. No, um, but then he can't hear what they say. Okay, Hong, Hong, can you hear me? Uh, Hong, no, I have the, I have the, I have, uh, I have Jitsi over here as well. Okay, Hong, can you hear me? Hong. Okay, never mind. Looks like Hong cannot hear me, but uh, I think you guys are. I, I think that uh, the while the uh, social events were a little bit lean. But I would say that the talks were all, uh, considering the amount of changes we had to go through, uh, I think that that was uh, very well executed, very well uh, put together, and I think the, a lot of willing hands came along to help out when they were needed. Yep. Any further feedback, Charles? Anyone else? I mean, for me, it's, I really enjoyed it. It was good. And the food was good. Okay, thank you. Any issues that anyone found or run into something missing? From what I understand, the, you were not allowed to put on the clip mic, right? Because of uh, safety and all that. Ah, uh, this guy, yeah. I mean, that's the only PT part, you know, because when you're doing the recording of the talk, it would be very nice if there was a mic, so it would be very nice and clear. But that's a... Uh, and, I mean, it's inevitable. I mean, you can't do. Yeah. yeah. All right. First, on the first day uh, in the lecture theater, you know, the one. Yeah, the, the, there were some uh, live uh, sp speaking through the internet, the Google, the Google lady, right? Yeah, it, I'm just wondering, uh, would it have, uh, would it, would connecting a LAN cable solve that issue? Is, was it because it was connecting through the Wi-Fi and all that? Okay. Yeah, that's right. Oh, I see. So, security. I think there's something wrong with their projector. They used to have two projectors and... Oh, is it? <laughs> okay. Anyone else like see the, um, the streaming at all? Did they have any feedback in, the, in this side of the stream on the streaming itself? I, I didn't. Of course, but they may have seen also. Okay, I, I attended the Flask uh, training conducted by the students. It was just great, you know. I mean, I, I really enjoyed it. And the, the teacher, I mean, the student uh, who was teaching us was so patient and understanding and really, I mean, he didn't rush through, he didn't get frustrated <laughs> and all that he just you know he really took the time to you know to teach us you know so i really really appreciated that that was really great the flask the the flask teaching and uh, the, what's the other one they are also done by students the dunman school yeah SQL light, yeah, SQL light, okay. yeah. So the students' uh, presentations were very good. The SQL light as well, yeah. Just, that's that's all. Yeah, I just wanted to share that. And the SQL light by the students, Dunman School. Yeah. They, it, they are from some organization, uh, Block SG or Building Block, Building Block. Building block. Yeah. 
Yeah, 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 yeah. okay. Further feedback? Yeah, so here we go. Any feedback here on the conference? What did you, your experience? about COVID-19, if you, if, uh, is, you, want, you want to hear about that now? Uh, so there's a community project uh, about tackling COVID-19. Uh, it's called Project Open Air, projectopenair.org. So there, there are several pieces of the problem that open source communities are already working on. Uh, there are mechanical ventilators, which just off, uh, alleviate the need to use your lungs, uh, to your, your diaphragm to breathe. Uh, there are people working on the oxygen therapy, the cannulas, the supply control, the whole lot. But, and yes, but I think not for this session. But uh, yeah, in terms of Mario's question, uh, there's a bunch of stuff that has to happen and it's, it's worth taking action uh, sooner than later. A any feedback on uh, good, bad, or room for improvement in <laughs> our much reduced <laughs> summit? I can't, I can't really say except uh, I think thanks everybody for putting the time in to make it happen. Uh, <laughs> our pleasure. Gentlemen here? Good, good, back, good, bad, indifferent, oh. room for improvement? I think, I think there's no room for me, even though this is my first time. And when I came here, I was a bit shocked like, to find this, the, the turnout is very low. At first, I <laughs> thought, this, is, is, this the, is this the usual turnout for all yeah. for Asia? So, <laughs> so I guess it's actually the COVID-19 has, has uh, deterred many people from coming to Singapore, also at the travel ban restriction. But all, all after, I think everything else is all very well done. Yeah, I so said I learned. I got to learn many new things. Yeah, because I myself also a fan of open source. Just I never heard about this open source uh, summit or seminars. Yeah, I usually go for the like a big uh, commercial IT fairs. <laughs> yeah, but it's my first time coming. So yeah, I'm very really grateful for being uh, able to attend this talk. And I hope to come back again, again next year. Brilliant. Yeah. So a first time attendee at Fos yeah. the Foss Asia Summit, who has had other involvement in uh, open source, appreciating that it, that it actually works and it's here. And surprised at the small numbers, but we all know why that is. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yourself? Nothing more to, to add, really. Okay. It's, uh, no, that's cool. Good. It's been interesting. Start at the back? Well, it doesn't matter. Back or front? Yep. Any feedback here that you can give? Things yeah. to improve? Okay. Good, good. <laughs> <laughs> anything, to, anything we could improve? Yeah, it's clear. All right. Oh. Yeah, good. Yeah. Hello. What are you showing me? Okay. Um, Stanley? Oh. Stanley? Uh, I got it. No, we, okay. we can't uh, sanitize. I so. really appreciate that you all put the time in and like raise again time to put all this setup up. But I think like uh, looking forward to the, like, as in looking to the future, like with all these outbreaks happening, I think maybe we should prepare ourselves for like fully online conferences. Yeah, I, the, so the feedback was we may need to prepare ourselves for fully online operation, and that's sort of where we're going. Uh, one of the big questions that raised was how to do workshops, which is part of what the discussion you overheard here. So yes, we are already swinging it. Because, so uh, here's a point for those who, are, who hadn't realized, at least one eagle-eyed person asked me why th this year's t-shirt doesn't have a date on it. It is a year, but not the dates. And part of the thinking had been that if the Ministry of, this is six weeks ago when we were young and naive, um, if the Ministry of Health declared Dorscon red, then we wouldn't be able to go ahead. And so at that time, the discussion with LLI was th that we would be willing to and they'd be willing to go ahead with a September event. Th that may still be possible, but frankly, I'm starting to think it will not be because <laughs> vaccination... And really, the, as far as I can tell, the end point is uh, widespread vaccination programs have been performed, and that's really June next year maybe a little earlier if we're lucky. So we, we, not only can we, uh, is September unlikely, March next year is looking unlikely. Not yet certain, we'll watch, but it, it's conceivable that we can't even do it then. And so, yeah, we don't really want to hibernate for the next 12 to 18 months. And so I think we have no choice but to work out ways to do uh, at least some useful things in a completely online form. So the, yeah, this will transform how we function. <laughs> um, but yeah, whether we get to do the, the second event and use the same t-shirts with the same year on them, I'm not sure. We, <laughs> we might not get to. <laughs> All right. Video guy, do you want to... Anything you would like to improve? Any, uh, yeah. Please don't touch the microphone. Please don't touch the mic. Okay, fine. <laughs> the sanitizer oh, yeah. right there. All I got to say is that uh, the perspective of a video volunteer, like, this is really an eye-opening experience. And I'll definitely come again next year. <laughs> but these 
perspective of video volunteers, this is a really eye-opening experience and will definitely come again next year. Thank you. Let us hope we have... Well, yeah, perhaps late next year we will. Because, thank it's... <laughs> yeah, <definitely laughs> For a little while, we won't be able to. How about you, Dan? I uh, mean, so I'd say that um, given the constraints, um, I, like, I, I've like, been really impressed. Everyone uh, coming together and then um, like finding their role and also contributing. And um, actually adapting to like to um, like things changing, um, like often hour to hour, minute to minute. So that's that's really impressive, especially uh, like kudos to Ambrose um, for uh, getting on the the uh, like video uploads and streaming. That's I'd, been really I'd good. That. I mean, Dan is pointing out that you know we're impressed at the, the degree of adaptation to, to changes, sort of daily, hourly, and sometimes minute to minute. And a call out for Ambrose for the video team in particular. Where is Ambrose? He's um, resting. <laughs> Sleeping, maybe. Sleeping yeah, uh, that his, his work is incredible. I really appreciate it. Um, yeah, I, <laughs> I don't know that I have anything concrete to offer at this time. Um, <laughs> no doubt I will think of things afterwards. Um, anyone on the call wish to... Uh, I'll now switch modes. Um, but d d does anyone on the call wish to provide feedback? Uh, Hong Fukul, hand control over to you because I have to mute myself. So, uh, Michelle, so you've been to Post Asia almost every year, the past few years, and and also in Vietnam, Cambodia, everywhere. How do you feel about so like I'm, the situation? How can you continue to engage with us in the future? So, I'm I'm really missing the event. It was a highlight every year. I I like it to travel. I like it to to travel to Singapore. I like it to. Uh, I like to, to make uh, uh, um, projects with you. I like to do hacking. I like to meet all the people who are curious and uh, uh, um, w watch watch a talk uh, that I'm giving. And so this is this is like a big festival. And um, I'm uh, <laughs> um, it's it's so bad that uh, so many people are putting so much work into this event and uh, now the participation is so uh, uh, limited by because uh, people um, uh, I think people like the, the, the physical experience to, to, to walk around and to to be curious and and uh, it's it's something about uh, to be a discoverer, to, to discover things. And um, so um, these are all things that we are missing right now. Uh, by and I've, uh, um, uh, with Roland that we, uh, this is the, the chance to, to learn a lot uh, of new things and new ways to work. Um, I don't have a <laughs> idea what it could be, what we can do in the next year, but uh, it's a it's a really good opportunity to find it out. So <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So um, yeah. So uh, thank you, Michelle, and and you, you are right. It's a good opportunity for us to find out what we can do. So in in the organizer side, you are right. Not only uh, so the team put in a lot of effort and volunteers as well. They come very early. I think that the volunteers they also like in the fact that they can learn how to set up the video. And for us also, we learn a lot. But I just want. You even though we don't have uh, that many participants, yesterday when I met Alvin, that really changed my, that made me become very positive in a way that uh, he he come uh, like uh, with a very open mindset to the event. He recorded where the session gonna be and also want to uh, to share and learn what gonna uh, like in different session. He he note down everything like the people he met or, or what being shared. And this is really a, a big motivation for me to continue to run the event. As Roland mentioned, a lot of sponsor drop out and we don't also don't receive um, uh, the support from 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 the people who 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 promised to support the event. But we still managed to make the event happen and. And I think that even we only have one participant or two participants, we still want to, to, to continue to create a platform where people can actually share and, and, and work together. We did it before 10 years ago. We was very small. We never get like, people uh, like support us, but we still together with the community, we make it happen. And, and now I think that in the difficult time, and even 
also people can show up physically. We, we do have people who come in who take the event very serious so that really make the organizer feel that our work got, got paid off. And the good thing is that all videos are available online and people can still share and, 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 and continue. Right. So, and, and, and I think that uh, I'm, I'm really glad that we do be able to. Yeah, we will continue. We, we will identify solution what we're going to face here. So as soon as people are allowed to get together again, um, however uh, it takes, how, how long it takes, it uh, will be becoming a big festival everywhere and every kind of uh, opportunity to meet and, and two things together will be uh, will be taken. So I think um, you you must carry on with FOSS Asia, the FOSS Asia conference and other events because uh, there will be a time after the Corona crisis and people will be so happy to participate again. I'm, I'm very sure. <laughs> yes, thank you. <laughs> yes, uh, and also we are happy if we can see you again in person. <laughs> <laughs> so it will it will be a big festival if this is over, and um, mm -hmm. for, I think for a long time. <laughs> Thank you, Michelle. Back to Roland. Back to Roland. <laughs> <laughs> right. Well, I don't think we've got much else to cover. Um, we've said thank yous, we've sought feedback from everyone. Uh, final thoughts from anyone before we wrap completely? In the room or on Jitsi? Sorry? <laughs> Alvin remains the indomitable <laughs> social organiser and asks who's going to Blue Jazz tonight? Um, I, 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 look, straight up, I'm not going to. Um, I have with some mixed feelings uh, not participated in social events uh, outside the, the, the venue this year. Um, and as organisers, we can't sanction because we can't implement reasonable controls. Um, of course, you are free people in a relatively free country. You, you can, in fact, walk into it. And at the moment, the restrictions are not such that you can't uh, sort of go and have dinner with friends. So there's no objection to people uh, who are here by virtue of the summit deciding to do so. But uh, as organisers, we can't sanction. So, but uh, personally, I will not. I don't know if, if, real, if a show of hands, perhaps, if people planning to go to Blue Jazz tonight, for those who are in the room, Alvin, you're asking, you have to raise your hand. <laughs> no, not even. Well, there we go. Hello, go ahead. Behind which camera? Are the... Who's the video guy? Hello. Who are you, please? Who are you? Is that the question? You're asking who? Yeah. Okay. Sanitize it. Oh, yeah. My, yeah, uh, my name is Shi Jie. I'm basically the video guy. Shi Jie. Shi Jie. Yes. Shi Jie. Okay, well, um, in that case, uh, let's call it a wrap. Uh, Fossil Asia 2020 COVID edition is <laughs> now closed.